Guys, if you're tired of using Android emulators and none of them is working well on your system, I recommend shifting to Android OS instead. The first benefit is that you can play high-end Android games like PUBG and COD on a low-end PC. That's why, in today's video, I'll provide you with the latest version of Phoenix OS, where you not only get Android 7 but also the capability to play high-end games like PUBG and COD on your PC. Now, some of you might be thinking that I already uploaded a video on Phoenix OS a couple of days ago. Well, that version of Phoenix OS was based on Android 5, whereas this version brings Android 7 along with many improvements and bug fixes. Additionally, this video is made in response to a subscriber's request, as you can see their comment on your screens. So, let's get started with the video. Let's roll. As you all know, before proceeding with the installation process, I always show you my PC specifications to assure you that I am indeed testing this program on a low-end PC. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. Guys, you can find the link to download this version of Phoenix OS on my website, and you can easily access the website through the description of my channel. Speaking of its size, it's just 600 MB making it easy to download. Simply double-click on it and launch the installation. After that, you'll see an interface like this. You have the option to install this OS on a USB, but it is recommended to install it on your hard drive. Just click on this option and choose your hard drive. I'll be installing it in a separate partition, but you can install it on drive. See, if you prefer. Now, you need to select the storage space. You can choose up to 32 GB, but keep in mind that the more storage you select, the longer the installation will take. I'll go with just 4 GB to speed up the process. The installation of Phoenix OS has started, and it will take around 15 to 20 minutes, so let's wait for a while. 2,000 years later. Now that Phoenix OS is installed, you can simply click on their Boot Now button. The loading process for Phoenix OS has started, please wait for it to complete. After loading, you'll see an interface like this. Choose the English language, click on Next, and then accept the license agreement. Normally, we face Wi-Fi problems in operating systems like Phoenix OS, Prime OS, or Remix OS, but in this version of Phoenix OS, you won't encounter any Wi-Fi issues. I don't have Wi-Fi currently, so I'll skip this process. After that, you need to type your username and click on the Finish button. As you can see, Phoenix OS is now installed and running smoothly. First, let's adjust the mouse pointer speed. You can find the option for mouse and trackpad settings in the settings. Click on this option, and here you'll find the mouse and trackpad settings. Adjust the pointer speed according to your preference. If you plan to play Free Fire, I recommend keeping the pointer speed lower. If we talk about the Android version of this operating system, you will find Android 7. In this version of Phoenix OS, you'll have the option of key mapping. Additionally, you'll have support for the Play Store, allowing you to easily download games and other applications. So, let me now demonstrate starting Windows. To switch to Windows, press the power button on your PC once and choose the restart option. After that, select your Windows from the boot menu. As you can see, Windows is working perfectly. And there you have it, a quick and comprehensive guide on installing Phoenix OS latest version on your PC with dual boot. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts. If you have any questions or need further clarification, drop them in the comments below, or you can also contact me on Facebook or Instagram. Links are in the description.